Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Diane Desiel and today we're grading a skirt pattern. Before to start to do my grading, I just want to talk about how we decide the color we need. It is of course depending on how much you need to grade. Usually for a skirt or pants, you're going to measure your hip and you're going to compare to the hip measurement given for this pattern. Then you're going to find a difference. It could be a smaller size you need or a larger size. That difference is all around the body. Here we're grading only one quarter of a pattern. So that measurement that you'll find you divided by four. For today's example, I'll take eight centimeter or three inches. So you divide that measurement by four. I'm going to have two centimeter or three quarter of an inch. So you look at the measurement you need, one quarter of the total measurement you need on your ruler and the best ruler to use to pick the color is the skirt because you have a side seam grading straight. You take your measurement that you need and you place it over the collar until you have the difference you need between two dots. For today's example, my basic would be the black and my new size would be the gray. Another question that I get pretty often is to know if the ruler could be used to grade only the blocks or also pattern. So today I'm using a pattern that I did so you could see the seam allowance and I pivot part of the dart at the bottom so you have a little bit of flare. So this is a final pattern. Now the other thing I want to say is about the sizes. If you use number, you notice that we skip every two numbers, 10, 12. So 10, 12, 14, 16. Same thing towards the smaller size. From 10, you have the 8, you have the 6, 4, and 2. But if you're using letters, you're going to skip one of my color dot. So let's say my black is the medium. If you want to do the large, you're going to skip one point and go to the next one. So the gray will be the large. If you want to do the extra large, you're going to skip again one dot. So you'll go to the dark green and this will be your extra large. And again, extra, extra large. Now grading a skirt is the easiest grading you could have, especially for women because it doesn't grade uh, vertically, it's only at the horizontal. So all the side seam points will grade with the same measure. And if you do have a dart, the measurement that I propose for the dart, it's not going to make your skirt bigger or smaller. It's only moving. And the measurement I propose is pretty much one third of the side seam movement because the dart is pretty much at the first third on your skirt pattern. Just like we usually do, I'm going to start with the grading of the dart and I'm going to go around all the way to the bottom point. You have twice, it's exactly the same grading. And the grading, I usually place it on one of the notch of the dart and at the pivot. So I'm going to pick one of the notch, put the black dot over the notch that I select, the side that I select. I'm going to hold it with the pattern hall, pivot until it's parallel to the grain line. And this time I'm going to dot the gray because that's the size that I need for my example. I'm going to do the same thing with the pivot. Hold the black dot with the awl and put it right on the trace line. Pivot the ruler until it's parallel and just dot the gray. Now I'm not going to mark or grade in the second notch of the dart. You'll see why. We'll use uh, the pattern right away to get it. So right away I'll go to the next point, the waist and side seam point. I'm going to place my awl directly at the black dot right at the corner and again move the ruler until it's parallel with the grain line and just dot the gray. I did place that same grading two more time on my ruler. 
because just like my pattern today, sometimes your pattern has a little flare at the bottom. So I'm going to grade the hip level and the bottom of the skirt. Starting with the hip, I place my black right over the notch. I'm putting my ruler parallel and dot the grate. Let's do it one more time at the bottom. So the hull at the black dot right over the trace line. Place the ruler parallel to the grain line and dot the grate. Now we're going to trace the new size starting with the notch. So place your notch that you grade over the point that you got and you place the waist center front area right on the line that you already have. This area should be 90 degree for about three centimeter or an inch, an inch and a quarter. When it's in position, you should see that your center fronts are parallel. Then you're going to trace from about three centimeter or an inch Trace the first notch, the jug, and the second notch, plus a little bit on the other side. Now the dart is done, we already have the pivot. So we we'll go right away to the next point, the side seam and waist point. Place your block right on the point and Pivot it until it does touch where you left or where you stop tracing, just like that. That's why we're going a little further. Then we're going to trace the, the waist that is missing and just a little bit the side seam. Now we're going to trace the side seam and you'll see we could do it all one shot from waist to the bottom. Place the corner, waist and side seam. You see that the hip notch is aligned and all the way to the bottom. For this style, I did have a notch for my zipper on the side seam and a notch for the hem and I traced them all in the same time. Here you see that I just trace a little bit the corner. I'm still missing a little bit so I'm going to complete the line, put it right at the corner and pivot your skirt until it touch the original and we're just going to trace what's missing. There you go, I just grayed the skirt two size bigger. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I see you soon.